Hi guys, welcome back to Edgeworth channel. So today in this video we will be discussing the mechanism of action of anti-tubercular drugs. So in a previous video I have given the classification of anti-tubercular drugs with mnemonics. So please go and watch that video and then you can watch this video. So if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, please feel free to subscribe and hit the bell button for more notifications. So in tuberculosis protocol, we have divided the drugs used to treat the tuberculosis into first line drugs and second line drugs. First line drugs, the toxicity will be very less and the efficacy will be very high. Whereas this has got a reversal in the second line treatment. That is toxicity will be high, efficacy will be very less. So, so the first one is rifampicin which belongs to the class anthamycin and the synonym is RIF and the mechanism of action is DNA dependent RNA polymerase inhibitor. So rifampicin or the rifampin is a RNA, DNA dependent RNA polymerase inhibitor. So what happens? Blocks the polymerization function. The next one is ethambutol. It's the class is anti-tubercular. All the drugs belong to the class anti-tubercular drugs and this is also called as EMB, the three letter short form of the ethambutol. The mechanism of action. Here, uh, the bacteria will be synthesizing mycolic acid and with the help of an enzyme, these mycolic acid will be incorporated into the cell wall. So, ethambutol will be inhibiting that enzyme, that is arabinosyl transferase enzyme. So, what happens? The incorporation will not happen. The next one is the streptomycin, the very important drug that is because belonging to the class aminoglycosides. They are actually the protein synthesis inhibitors. They, uh, they bind to the 30th ribosome and they will be um, inhibiting the protein synthesis, the elongation, termination, the, that all. The next one is pyrazinamide. This will not be familiar to us, but this is also a very important anti-tubercular drug. The mechanism of action is they get converted into pyrazinoic acid and they get accumulated in the acidic medium and then inhibit the synthesis of mycolic acid. So no mycolic acid synthesis means no sufficient cell wall will be formed. So if, you, if not much cell wall is formed means the bacteria can be easily killed by the other drugs and our body immunological cells. So the first fifth one, final one is isoniazid which is very important which has a short name called as INH, INH. Inhibit mycolic acid synthesis. Mycolic acid is the major component of the cell wall and it has got many pathological virulence factors. So if this drug is inhibiting the mycolic acid synthesis means the mycobacterium will not be able to produce a good cell wall and immunological cells and other drugs can easily kill them. So the mnemonic, sorry for the spelling, mnemonic and it's actually the recipe. Since tuberculosis is affecting respiration, you can easily remember the first line drugs as recipe. That is rifampicin, ethambutol, streptomycin, pyrazinamide and isoniazid. So the second line treatment, so what happens here? The efficacy decreases and the toxicity increases. So the second line treatment, uh, the this is group 4. There are many group 4. That is group A, group B, group C, group D. That is they are divided into many groups. Group A consists of fluoroquinolones. Uh, mainly the third generation and fourth generation fluoroquinolones are used. In third, that is levofloxacin and gatifloxacin. In fourth generation, it's moxifloxacin. So the mechanism of action is very clear. That is DNA gyrase will be inhibited and top isomerase inhibition. Since this is a gram positive bacteria mycobacterium is more similar to the gram positivity so top isomerase so the group b is aminoglycosides that is narrow spectrum streptomycin broad spectrum canamycin extended spectrum amikacin and capriomycin so you can use a mnemonic that is sac s a c k s a c k SAC. so the group c uh, we don't have uh, a proper classification here but in group c mainly we use cyclosyl Actually, they have the mechanism of action in the cell wall synthesis inhibition. Clofazimine, linezolid, ethionamide. And the mnemonic is cycle, cycle, C-Y-C-L-E. So the group B, the last group, that is thioacetazone, ibipenem, meropenem, para-aminosalicylic acid, that is PASS. And the mnemonic is time PASS, P for thioacetazone, I for ibipenem, B for M for meropenem, E for meropenem, and PASS for para-aminosalicylic acid. So thank you guys. 